Hello, this is Ethan from Dark Zebra, and today we're going to be covering uh, a quick little tip on how to tag images so that we can refer to them easily later. In our case, we built a Dark Zebra demo, and it was tagged as the latest, and this is the image ID. If I were to build another image, it would then get tagged at as latest, and this image ID would have an, a none on it. So what I can do is use a docker tag command. If we look at the help, it's really simple. We just pass in docker tag, the image ID or the image name and tag along with the new name and tag that we want to use. So we can tag, for instance, Debian latest as Debian Wheezy, and this is usually done by default in the Debian image already. You can see that I have Debian Wheezy at the exact same image ID as Debian Latest. I can also do this with my own Dark Zebra demo. I can say dar Docker tag. This time I'm just going to use the, the image ID for the latest build. And I can say dark zebra demo, and tag it as v2. And now when we list our images, v2 is right there. If I now build another dark zebra demo, I still have this current version tagged as v2. If I want to remove this, I use the rmi, RMI command. I just pass in either a, a name and tag or the image ID. And in this case, I'm going to delete V2. And it's just going to untag it because it's already, it's still got a remaining image lying around, which is the latest tag. And that's just a simple overview of using the tag command to add additional tags to your images so you can create a history that you can refer to later on or use later on in other Docker images. So, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching this Dark Zebra presentation. Please rate this video and add it to your favorites if you liked it. For additional content, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at darkzebra.com.